Welcome to the GoToWebinar Quick Start video. This video shows how to quickly schedule and start a webinar. When logged in from GoToWebinar.com, you will see our updated user interface and dashboard. To schedule a webinar, click on Schedule. You will see options for a standard webinar, a webcast, which is great for lead generation and allows streaming to up to 2,000 attendees, or a recorded webinar, which allows you to record a session and make it available on demand. Once you have decided which type of webinar you want, enter a title and add the date and time for your webinar. You also have the option to set up recurring webinars. Confirm your time zone and click schedule. Now it's time to manage specific details for your webinar. Here you can add a description for your webinar, add the event to your calendar, and also invite co-organizers or panelists to present at your webinar. Under the settings tab, you can set up auto recording. View all of your scheduled events audio numbers, set up a welcome message, and list any information about your webinar presenters if desired. Under branding and colors, you can add your logo that will appear above the webinar title, and you can add a featured image which will appear next to your webinar description. You can choose from a palette of colors to brand your webinar. You can also view your webinar invitation here. Under share event, you can copy the invitation URL and the webinar ID. You can also have the webinar information emailed to you or preview the event information. Under the registration tab, you can adjust a variety of items. These include adjusting the registration limit, adding any notifications, and confirming if registrants are approved automatically or not. You can add a custom link to have registrants directed to a website after registering, add a video for registrants to have access to after the session, add a required password, select what information fields the registrant will need to fill out, track registrants, or even create registrant tracking sources. In the Emails tab, you can adjust the Reply To address, adjust when reminder emails go out, personalize the confirmation email, and adjust any other email settings. Click the Engage Your Audience tab, and here is where you can add videos and handouts and set up polls and surveys. Once you've made all of the setup choices for your webinar, click on this icon to return to your dashboard. You will see your newly created webinar listed along with any other webinars you have scheduled. Below your scheduled events, you will notice analytics data and uploaded videos on your account. These will not be covered in detail in this specific video, but these are very useful features that are clarified in other support videos. Here, you can view past events, and here, you can view your GoToWebinar calendar. Below the Dashboard icon, you will see several other icons listed. This icon will take you to your GoToStage Channels page. If you are not familiar with the GoToStage feature, please see the GoToStage videos on our support site. The Analytics icon gives you a deep look into your past webinars and shows you all the analytics you may need. You can even generate specific webinar reports here. The Video Library icon is another way to view what videos you have available on your account. The Settings icon allows you to adjust all your GoToWebinar account settings. This includes how attendees will call into your webinar, either by phone, using Voice over IP, or providing your own conference call numbers. Please remember to save any changes you make here. Under the Webcam tab, you can choose whether or not staff can share their webcams. And under Recording, you can again adjust auto recording as well as make choices about saving recordings and webcam usage. Click on the Organizer's Picture icon and you'll be able to view what other products you have access to on your account. View your account, get support, or log out. This magnifying glass allows you to search through your existing webinars. To the right of each scheduled webinar, you will see a drop-down with a few options. You can start a webinar from here, you can practice a webinar here, 
or you can copy a previously created webinar here. Practicing your webinar is a great habit to get into, particularly if you are new to the software and control panel or if you plan on having presenters at your event. And those are the basics. Enjoy the ease of the improved GoToWebinar dashboard and best of luck with all your GoToWebinar events.